Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining for tonight's class. Uh, we listened to a music uh, that was a raga for the throat chakra, for Vishuddhi chakra. We'll start with uh, the session with the bandhan. Um, but first, let's ask, uh, is there anyone new, completely new to Sahaja Yoga meditation? Uh, you can write on the chat, so we will um, provide more explanations, more information. Um, and I will tell you why, because we intended to dedicate this um, class to a going deeper session, learning more about a specific chakra and also um, different um, connections between um, chakras, qualities, various energy blockages. So um, the intent is to have a, a special class in which we learn about the guru principle that is embedded with it within us. We will start with, so it seems that nobody is new, uh, completely new. <laughs> so let's uh, take our protection, our bandhan together. We'll follow the rhythm from this video just in case we, we've seen some of you are really still new to Sahaja Yoga meditation. So let's do this bandhan together. And it's also nice to do it in the same rhythm um, collectively. Like a very relaxed when we are releasing the air out trust that we are releasing as well all kind of impurities that are stored as negative energy they accumulate within us as, as negative energy and we want to release it completely take it out of our system Let's bring our attention on the left palm, the left arm, the entire left side of our body. And make sure that there are no thoughts. We are just watching our own attention. And we remind ourselves that through the left energy channel, through Ida Nadi, we have access to enlightened emotions and to the pure desire to attain spiritual realization self-realization and integration. We can take another deep breath in, hold it inside 
slowly release the air out, so in and out to the nose. We'll place the attention on the top of the head, on the crown chakra, on our Sahasrara chakra. And from there, the attention will be relaxed with no thoughts on our left palm. Then we'll have the attention on the right palm, on the right arm, the right side of our body. From the neck level down on the entire right side of the body. Take a deep breath in, hold it. Release the air out whenever you feel. And let's realize with joy that through the right channel, we are connected to our willpower. We can realize through actions our pure desire to become a better human being, to get closer to the inner self, to the true self, to our spirit. You can take the right hand, let's place it on the left side of the chest, on the left heart chakra, left anahat chakra. Place it firmly there. And let's say this affirmation seven times with full conviction, addressing to our own motherly energy, Kundalini. Mother Kundalini, please come into my heart. Enlighten my heart completely. With complete calmness we can say, Mother Kundalini, I am truly the Spirit. Nothing else but the pure Spirit. I am the Spirit. Let's take the right hand, we'll place it on the forehead, gently bow down towards Mother Earth. We let the right hand support the weight of our head and make sure that the temples are within the grasp of the right palm. And let's say three times with full conviction, with joy, Mother Kundalini, I am not these thoughts. 
I completely surrender thoughts, emotions, reactions, worries, attachments, conditionings. I let them go like clouds on the sky. Mother Kundalini, from all my heart, I forgive everyone, including myself. Please rise and purify my brain, enlighten my brain. We can take the right hand, place it on top of the head, while we keep our head gently saluting Mother Earth, bowing down to Mother Earth. We apply pressure with the center of the right palm. The fingers will not touch the head, will be in the air. We'll move the scalp towards left, front, right, back. And let's do profound movements, clockwise movements, literally like we desire we actually desire to open this portal towards the universal self. And here we'll ask Mother Kundalini, please strengthen and nourish my self-realization. Mother Kundalini, please strengthen and nourish my self-realization. Please completely open my crown chakra. And while we pull away the right hand, we can ask Mother Kundalini Please unite our spirit with the universal spirit. We surrender our connection to you. We offer our namaste, saluting our spirit and the universal spirit. Through this gesture, we also balance the left and the right channels. Expressing our desire to be always centered, always in equilibrium, in balance. Let's relax both hands in our lap, facing upwards. Remain in meditation. Make sure that we are completely relaxed and open towards this experience. It's our own experience. We we'll also listen to a raga for Vishuddhi Chakra as a support for our meditation. And if you feel at any point overwhelmed by thoughts, just say, I forgive, I'm not this, I let you go. Ideally, we keep our eyes closed. If not, we can open them 
and look at the screen. We are sharing a video that connects us to the Vishuddhi Chakra as well through images from nature. But just make sure that the thoughts are not our master.
So let's remain in a state of meditation, relaxed, and um, we'll make a short introduction to what will happen um, next. So you see we have here an image. Uh, we are not sure if it represents exactly um, Sri Confucius. who is one of the 10 primordial uh, masters that are recognized in Sahaja Yoga meditation. However, absolutely he represented the qualities, incarnated the qualities of a primordial guru. And today we'll learn how each of us can be on a journey to become their own guru and um, because we are practicing Sahaj Yoga, a Sahaj Guru. And uh, let's see what we feel as vibrations. We can keep both hands towards the screen and see this beautiful painting, beautiful uh, painting created by Sahaja, a Sahaja Yogi artist. See the symbolism. It's so much filled with vibrations and that's what, uh, where each of us ideally will be reaching to the complete opening of Sahasrara and the strong flow of Kundalini. And why we started to um, play this Sahaj Guru game, because we want to rise to that level that Sri Mataji is uh, talking in this quote, that we understand our own values, we share them, and we empower others to reach to their own values. And um, ultimately, this new vibratory awareness, this new awareness in our life, the vibrations, the vibratory awareness, can lead us to that oneness, integration, and trust in our own discernment, in choosing always what's best for our true self, what's best for all humanity. We can really, through Sahaja Yoga, we can really ascend to that new level of inner development for all humanity. So I'll invite Kartikeya that uh, told us that his uh, Sahaj Guru game journey um, has brought fruits and he's ready to share those fruits with us. Hello. <laughs> Hi, thank you for the wonderful meditation. It really helped me feel less nervous about my presentation. <laughs> Hope so. So will you share something? Should we, should I, should I pin your... Um... Yes, I will be yeah. sharing something. Okay, so let me just see. Um, I will make you co-host. So you can start sharing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> By the way, maybe you will say that, but there were no indications, no guidelines for how the presentation should be. He has complete, everyone has complete freedom. And he's so courageous, Kartikeya, because he's the first one for this year. And next week we have... Uh, Kavita presenting, but I'm just saying it's beautiful so far. So go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, with the freedom I got, I chose to actually have um, a quiz, a Sahaj Guru quiz at the end of this. And it's a very fun sort of format. So everyone will enjoy it. So let's see how this goes. So 
Hello everyone, by now you probably know, my name is Kartikeya, and today I'll be presenting you my Sahaj Guru game. So if you hear that background noise, that's, that's the neighbors, sorry about that. So the aspect and chakra, which I chose based on vibrations was the right Vishuddhi chakra. If you don't know much about this chakra, don't worry, you'll find out uh, later through my introspection and all what it's all about. So, um, sorry, the phone is ringing as well. All the distractions come while I'm presenting. So, so the word, the words which I used here in this presentation are going to be basically the words of Sri Mataji Nirma Devi, who's the founder of Sahaja Yoga. And of course, myself, like the source of all this information is basically her and that's where I got it from. And um, hope you enjoy the presentation. So, so the Vishuddhi Chakra, what exactly does the Vishuddhi Chakra mean? So we know, we probably have known by now that it means it has to do with something with collectivity and communication, but what does the word mean, the Vishuddhi? So, so Vishuddhi Chakra means pure, but Vishuddh means absolutely pure. So should, should means pure and Vishuddh means absolutely pure. The strength of a person comes through the Vishuddhi Chakra through his speech. In the evolutionary journey, the center enabled us to raise our head up. From this center rises the ego and superego, as you can see here. He, um, sorry, yeah, this. Yeah, this is this is the superego and this is the ego. I got confused for a second. Sorry about that. Um, so when we speak or have a report with other people, the reaction to that causes there to be an ego and super ego to be built within us. So the Vishuddhi Chakra is actually located at the base of the spine. And this chakra controls many sort of, of our body parts, which are above our neck. Such, well, the neck for sure itself, the arms, even, sorry, the wrists, the arms, uh, the teeth, nose, ears, mouth, um, face, speech, and even the eye movement. So, so um, what are the qualities of Vishuddhi Chakra? So, center so i'm going to be talking in the perspective that it goes from the center so from the center we should be i'll explain the left we should be and the right we should be so i'll go first with the center we should be so the fund fundamental qualities of we should be are good communication skills which obviously i have to work on i have never really presented anything uh recently so that's it's going kind of... beautifully. I'm telling you, we enjoy it so much. So go with the flow. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, um, so the Vishuddhi Chakra has to do, the center of Vishuddhi has to do with diplomacy, eloquent communication, collectivity, and communication, as you saw before. And later in the slides, I'll show you some people that embody this and are the perfect examples of this chakra and also the other aspects, the left and the right. So, and the left Vishuddhi represents strong peer relationships. Well, if you have a strong left Vishuddhi, that would mean that you have a strong peer relationship. Um, you have no guilt. You have no sorts of sarcasm or anything and a sense of self-respect. And the right Vishuddhi, it governs the speech, 
like how you speak, if you are polite in your speech. Um, and it also gives us the ability to be at, at a witness state. I didn't mention it here, but that's also a part of the right Vishuddhi and maybe even the center Vishuddhi. Um, how respectful you are when you communicate and sweetness, madhurya. I had to include madhurya because it's such a beautiful word that sweet, sweetness is of course a great word, but madhurya is just something that just describes sweetness in Sanskrit language. So that's that. And so this is what I was talking about. Some people that embody the, Vish, the Vishuddhi chakra and the three aspects of the Vishuddhi chakra. So in the center, we have the principal Sri Krishna and he was a diplomat and master of speech. He, he praised people instead of criticizing and showed respect to all people. And he, his speech was never harsh or sarcastic. He was very soft and sweet. And on the left, this is basically the representation of Sri Krishna's sister who was Sri Vishnumaya. And she represents the left Shuddhi, as you can see here. And she is very powerful in the sense that she's the one that is declares the advent of the truth. And when Sri Krishna was born, she was the one that um, took the form of lightning and declared that he is there for the destruction of all evil forces on earth. So it's very, she's a very um, powerful deity. And a, a short little story I have of Sri Krishna about with his um, foster mother, Sri Yashoda. Um, like when, when Sri Krishna was very little, he used to love butter and he would play tricks to get his butter from people, like basically try to get, get it no matter what. And um, her, his mother would always try to hide it and others would also try to hide it from him because he was always so like, you know, fond of butter. So one day she found him with butter on his face and he was hiding his face, trying not to show it, but she finally caught him. And when she saw that he had butter on his face, she told him to open his mouth. And when he opened his mouth and she, he was resisting, and when he finally opened his mouth, he, she saw the whole universe inside his mouth. So that's the day that she found out he was the Lord of the universe. So Sri Yashoda is also very like, like she has like very motherly qualities and, and she has a very um, like, uh, she has a very nice way of talking to others and she's always polite in the way she speaks and Madhurya, which I was talking about sweetness in her voice, that's basically embodied by her. So that's slide. And this comes as part of my introspection. So this, I, I was, there was a point in my introspection where I was very angry and, and not able to find the answer in my, when I was meditating. And I was very anxious about my future. And I was really confused because I'm 20 years old, so I was kind of worrying about my education and my job and all. So, so I came across Yoga Shema Bahamian, which is said by Sri Krishna. And he says, Yoga Shema Bahamian, which means I look after your yoga, meaning the union with God. So Sri Mataji, the founder, has talked about this a lot. So this is kind of where I got from from her talking, she's talked about it in, in, in her excerpts and talks. So um, she says, he says, I looked after your yoga means the union of, with God. Vahamya means I carry that process. So he's the one that carried that process. And yoga, so, so first it says yoga, 
and the, which means the union. So until the union takes place, um, shame, sorry, I'm just going all over the place. Shema, shema means well-being. And basically it means yoga, yoga shema vahamya means that you first take your union and then your well-being will be looked after. So that's what I got from it. And this really helped me kind of surrender myself to, to um, Mother Kundalini because I realized that maybe I should not be so worried about my future. I cannot control it. I can surrender it to Mother Kundalini who knows everything already about me. And, and, and my priority should be to be one with my Atma, which is the spirit. And that should be awakened with, within me so that I can enter the domain of um, God Almighty. So this, this really helped me understand that um, I'm fine where I am, I am right now. And I just need to have a good connection with Shimataji and Mother Kundalini. And yeah, so that was the Yoga Shema Bahamiyam. And so um, there was a time that I thought that collectivity meant, well, I still think that collectivity means where people go and talk with each other and have a good time. But this kind of changed my perspective on things. Shimati really changed my perspective on this and showed me through a spiritual means what it means to be connected and collective. So collectivity doesn't mean that we all should be stuck together with some glue or something, or we all, all become like Gibraltar, Rock of Gibraltar. No, it doesn't mean that. It means wherever you are, you're connected. That is collectivity. But you are yourself fully collective when you are absolutely detached and your Kundalini is dancing. You are alone and never alone. And a small thing like collectivity, it is the beginning of Sahaja Yoga. If you do not want to become collective, Sahaja Yoga is not meant for individuals. Here you are coming to become a collective being because spirit is the collective being. The quality of the spirit is that it is a collective being. It is a part of the collective. It is absolutely one with the collective. It is so collective that you cannot imagine on human level how much it is collective. So I wanted to bring a point here uh, that the Vishuddhi Chakra, I forgot to mention this, um, is represented by North, North Central and South America. So um, by kind of, we can understand that what she means by it is part of the collective. It's absolutely one with the collective and it's so collective that you can imagine. So you can actually, if a lot of people in one country are feeling the Vishuddhi, the whole world in, in the country like North America, South America, Central America, which represent the Vishuddhi, a lot of the other percentage could have a disturbed Vishuddhi as well. So it's really collective how things work with in Sahaja Yoga and how collective we all are and how important it is to actually be one with the whole. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And uh, Another part of my introspection and connections. So while I was introspecting, as I said, I was kind of angry and I was paying too many, too much attention to what um, catches I was feeling, like what obstructions I was feeling on my hands. So I, I was feeling very anxious that I wasn't finding the answer, and also I was feeling so much, and I was trying to, I was trying to. Um, basically this demotivated me at some time, but I decided that, you know, I would try to look at it from a higher perspective and try to focus on my Sahasrara and my spirit. And this really helped me become a detached witness when I started focusing more on that. And I started feeling cool on my Sahasrara more by doing that. And um, during this time, when I was feeling angry, the I could literally feel the super ego, which is here, 
pressing down on my pressing pressing down all the way on my right vishuddhi so whenever i was getting mad or anything i could kind of feel it fully like a uh, negativity that was not mine because you are the pure spirit you can't really be mad that's not one of your qualities that you have everyone is a spirit so it's from outside where this comes like negativity sort of and this really showed that i was this wasn't me and that i could be completely detached from this so when i detached myself from it i stopped feeling this pressure on my super ego and this this really uh helped me and i told myself that i am the pure spirit and this started to build confidence within myself and through this building this presentation um i i thought that maybe it would be really good for me to express myself more in sahaj collectivity because it is i'm so blessed to have such a amazing collectivity i i always try to attend the meditations now and with my mom and it's really great because sometimes there's negativity um that could just circulate around in your house but in the collectivity everything everything can just you know dissipate and like dissolve in just like the ocean of love and compassion through all the sahaj yogi so and all the seekers so it's really great that i have the sahaj collectivity i just want to now express myself more in it and use my dynamism and communication for truth without feeling fear or domination from my super ego and all so again i would say that everyone has their spirit within them so they should be very confident and proud and they're connected with it so that's basically all my pro my presentation was and now we're going to have a quiz i don't have the game pin on me but i will share something right away um just hold on So if you guys have a device with you you can go on the website kahoot.it and we'll have a very fun quiz and everyone will enjoy so you just have to go on this website if you have a separate device if you want to do it on a separate device you can do it or you can do it on another tab on your phone or laptop whatever you want so yeah if you can all just join and those who do not have access or anything to uh, another device you can what you can do is you can just write on the chat the answer and and from from there like it, does, it doesn't really matter it's just for fun this quiz but um you can just write your answer or you can actually just say it out loud unmute yourself and say it out loud Oh yeah. Uh it would be really good if we have at least like two more people to join this and the rest can just maybe oh, okay perfect I just have to be like two people again. Okay. I'll wait more. I guess I will start unless someone else needs to get in. Okay, I will be starting, and I'm not joining, so it's not cheating at all. Okay, it's Hajj Guru game. I hope everyone's ready and has been listening to my presentation attentively. what are the qualities of right vishuddhi innocence and wisdom that's what i think pure 
your knowledge and desire. I'm just here to confuse people. So. Oh, everyone got it. Okay, next question. What is the breakdown or meaning of the word Vishuddhi? Okay, this was... All right, who's in the lead? My sister is in the lead, how can that be? Uh, she probably knows this quiz. This is cheating. I consider uh, Auntie Anjali is winning this. You can feel the Vishuddhi Chakra on your wrist. False or true? False or true? I don't know if I mentioned this. Hopefully everyone knows. Oh, maybe I didn't mention it. Yeah, that's my bad. No, I think I did. I think I did. Who is the sister of Sri Krishna? I think it's none of you. I think it's none of you. And it isn't. Spirit is the collective being. Is this true or false? Ah, nice. Rajni is in the lead. What did Kartikeya learn from this presentation? To not present anything anymore. To let go of the past. Have faith in himself. Express himself more. Taj collectively. Which one is it? Actually, he could have been half faith in himself too. I say that person is correct, so it's all good. What country represents the Vishuddhi Chakra? Every one of them were correct. All of you are correct. Right, Vishuddhi catch can be felt because of, oh, I didn't really mention this, but maybe you can get it from what I presented. Catch or obstruction in any of you. Okay. What does Yoga Shema Mahavya mean? You have absolutely nothing on the above. Ah, nice. Cool, cool. You all were paying attention. That's great. Yes, the final question. Who will be the winner? Who will be the winner? The electric guitar. Oh, it's wrong. Okay. So the last question, which was flu. Uh, the answer was flute, 
So we'll actually be having a presentation. Oh, sorry, uh, performance uh, with my sister on the flute and me on the double. So hope you all enjoy. Guys, everyone did great. Thank you for participating. Wait, there's a background. This was amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. We're back on. Thank you. Okay. And there is one quality that you didn't mention, but you absolutely represented it. You know which one is for Pishudi? To the game, the playfulness. Because playfulness. Krishna was talking about Lila, the divine, you know, play. And also Shmataj was saying that Sri Krishna showed us that we have to have fun in love, life. We have to really enjoy and have fun and be playful with each other in a sweet way, in a respectful, sweet way. And exactly this is what you, you brought. So I stop here. It's all you, but I'm very nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have to bring it up. I think we we <laughs> we don't see you so clearly. Yeah. So <laughs> this is a mega treat. You are raising the bar enormously. So anyone else who is joining Sahaj Guru game absolutely is not mandatory to bring a band or to play an instrument. You you are doing fine without any of this. <laughs> Strong start of the Sahaj Guru game 2021. Woo! <laughs> hmm? Oh, yes. So Today, we're going to be uh, performing the um, Sri Krishna Bhajan, which is um, Keshava Madhava. And a, uh, another, another one we'll be playing will be um, Hey Adima, Hey Antima, or dedicated to Shimataji. So, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's our first song. And now to the next. This was really such a treat, such an amazing treat uh, at the beginning of the long weekend. And uh, wow. <laughs> uh, so let's share. You can unmute yourself and, you know, provide some feedback. Uh, definitely, it's almost mandatory. Please uh, write your feedback on the chat or just open up here. That was really, really amazing. Bravo, Katikea and Shivangana and family. Amazing. <laughs> and quick, I will just start with, with my experience when Kartikeya started uh, talking more and more about Vishuddhi, especially when he started after that to come to the quotes and reading his introspection, uh, I mean, reading Shimataji's quotes and presenting his introspection, I felt coolness at my center Vishuddhi. I really felt the Vishuddhi chakra itself clearing out and it was so much, I felt so much love for for you Kartikeya for your spirit and um, it you show you've shown such beautiful qualities of Vishuddhi chakra so thank you so much thank you I'm sure that you felt um, really blessed during this uh, journey I stop here anyone else hello just wanted to say Kartikeya that was such a beautiful presentation it's filled with so much wisdom. I wish I had so much wisdom when I was 20. And as um, Ioana said, when you were reading the qualities of the Vishuddhi and having your introspection, just coolness was felt. And I also felt so much love for you and center heart. It was so cold, like nice and cool. Such love and vibration you were sharing that I felt. So thank you so much. And then the music was like such a joy that the icing on the cake, it felt so beautiful. So 
I'm actually so happy I came today. There were so much things in the way to not be here tonight. So I'm so glad I overcame those things and got to hear your guru presentation. It was an absolute joy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate those words. And one more thing I want to add, sorry, but I cannot hold it. So the fact that you presented with your sister, it's also so, so nice because there is another very sweet, it's, it's true, you're right. You, you had the right Vishuddhi chakra, um, but it's nice because it has a pure relationship of the Levi Shuddhi, you know, brother and sister, not necessarily brother and sister in, you know, from a, the same blood family but really um the sweetness of of this uh, pure relationship that can be between uh, male and female uh, the love respect and sweetness and how you were smiling both of you i had i was smiling and i have felt so much joy just joy and uh, innocence and oh my god thank you so much so again somebody else please <laughs> thank you so much auntie i, I really appreciate those words again and you know it's really just it's my first time kind of talking and all so um i really felt in my heart that i wanted to express myself fully this time not like hold back or anything all with all my love and compassion so i really wanted to do that today and because i felt like it was an opportunity for me to do something like that I think you absolutely understood what Sahaj Guru game is about. You absolutely understood. And your sharing came from the heart with sweetness, with honesty. And, and that's what it is. It's never a presentation from the ego or from it's really sharing and, and feeling that you are really with the Sahaj family around you. And it was, have no words, uh, such an amazing um, kickoff <laughs> session for the Sahaj Guru game this year. Thank you. Hello. Yes, Kavita, go ahead. We can hear you. <laughs> OK. Um, First of all, thank you uh, so much for the beautiful uh, presentation, Kartikeya, um, and also the quiz. Um, actually, the presentation really helped me as well because I'm a new. I'm new to Sahaja Yoga, and uh, I'm also working on the Vishuddhi. And uh, uh, the quiz was more like uh, you know the class test before the finals. <laughs> so I really enjoyed it, and um, also the music was very very beautiful i enjoyed the uh, the keshava madhava and the adima antima it was very beautiful um it uh, actually um my vishuddhi was so cool the center vishuddhi i um after a long time i'm feeling that uh, so thank you very much again thank you for sharing thank you so much uh, yeah i hope i hope uh you know, uh, like, I don't know, <laughs> I was just speaking. What a treat we have with you having that beautiful presentation. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. In 15 years, I'm in Sahaja Yoga. This was stopping everything. You are spectacular. I mean, such a beautiful soul. All the blessings to you and your family. It was a big treat for me. I <laughs> smiled all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. This really made me smile. And <laughs> it really made me happy that everyone is kind of enjoying what I really wanted to share with people. And we we learned so much from you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a you. beautiful speech. And uh, oh, my God. I'm, I mean, uh, who are you? 
like come <laughs> right from heaven with Shri Mataji. <laughs> all Love the blessings. It. All the blessings. Love you Mataji. all. Have a great evening. And don't stop giving us that treat. What a music. Oh, big hug all of you. And you know, Carmela, you absolutely are right. And we will take upon your offer, Kartikeya, to help more. We we need you. So we have so many exactly. Sahaj projects and Hello. very happy that you will. You will. And thank you, Kartikeya, for your um, comments on the articles that that was so good. It's so important. That's a reminder for everyone. Uh, just explore our, our website. You can um, give it a try. You can search and you can find maybe some answers or something and also get to know each other because in, pan in pandemic we cannot really meet yet but you can see and you can see different videos we have and um, different experience to share. Oh Anjali, thank you so much. So you remember the homework? <laughs> uh, would be nice to to click on that article and explore it um, and see, you can share with us what you learned or your impressions or anything like that. Um, you can absolutely share via the, um, as a comment to the, to the website. That's really very, very helpful. And also don't forget tomorrow, we have uh, tomorrow is dedicated to going deeper in the morning session and the afternoon session. So at uh, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. we have two different sessions, but that's only for those who meditate with us for a while. And next week we'll have um, the second Sahaj Guru game. That time will be a presentation on, on other area, other aspects by Kavita. Uh, so we are looking forward to the next next session. And this session was recorded, so we will add it to our treasure of videos for sure. So uh, before we uh, end this um, session, you can click on the you can click on the on the link here and um, with the link that is in the in the chat. and have it in your browser so you, you can you can uh, write a comment there oh and rajni you're also part rajni will also present she's part of the sahaj guru game we have a few avi also will present um so we have quite a few and anybody here that would like to join the sahaj guru game you can send us an email uh, you receive the newsletters correct so you can just reply to a newsletter yes it's eight tomorrow morning Yes, uh, Kiki, absolutely. So please join us. Um, perfect. Uh, what I wanted to say is, um, hmm, somebody asked privately, but I've missed that uh, comment. So if you click here on the article that Anjali uh, shared, and by the end of it, you can read, um, there are also always other articles that you can absolutely enjoy each one is so un each one is unique so you can really learn so much from everything and from the source and uh, different experiences we had great yogis visiting our area and we had all kind of amazing amazing sahaj projects and uh, so read also some of the comments some yogis or new friends they share their own experiences which are amazing and you can just a thank you, a nice comment, a simple comment is absolutely acceptable. So don't worry about writing another article as a comment to the article. No worries. But it's, it's nice to hear from you. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, have a great weekend. And uh, we will send something. Uh, I think that uh, Anna Bianca also prepared uh, with, Raj, uh, with Rajni a uh, newsletter for this weekend. So check your email. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Good Bye. night. Thank you. Thank and you re so reply to the email if you want anyone to uh, join the Sahaj Guru game. It's not um, too late. We just started it. So take your time. No rush when you feel it. Thank you so much. Bye. Good night.